Forget everything you know about AI art generation. What you're seeing right now was created in seconds with Recraft AI. These stunning images are all made with simple text prompts. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to create them, step by step. First things first, open up your browser and head over to the Recraft website. Once you're there, take a look at the top right corner of the page. You'll see a button that says, Get Recraft Free. Click on that to get started. Now you'll need to log in. You'll see a couple of options, Google, Apple ID, or Discord. Personally, I'll go with Google because it's quick and easy. After logging in, you'll need to answer a few quick questions about how you plan to use Recraft. Don't overthink these, they're just for setup and can be changed later if needed. After that, you'll be directed to the plan selection page. As of right now, there is a completely free plan with enough credits for video generation. With this plan, you'll be receiving 50 credits daily. However, you should know that the images you generate with the free plan are publicly stored. Here, it has some stuff explaining the platform's features. I'll select all of them and delete them using the delete button. On the left tab, you'll see four main options. With the image option, you can create raster and vector images. Raster images are detailed stuff like a forest or a person's face, and vectors are simple designs like logos or patterns. With the frame option, you can use text and images to generate any kind of graphic. Image set generates up to six consistent style images, and mockups allow you to make perfect product images. Today we're going to be focusing on the image option. If you click on it, a canvas will be created at the center of the page. Right here, you can choose between square, vertical, and horizontal dimensions. I'll select the 16x9 option and set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 You can also round the edges of your canvas like so. Below the canvas size settings, there is a drop-down menu, including various presets and models you can choose from. To apply any of these styles, you simply click on them. I will choose Recraft V3 RAW. You can adjust the zoom using percentage values in the bottom right corner. I usually set it to 60%. In the image generation panel, there is the prompt box. For our first prompt, I'll try generating a celebrity like Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's use a prompt like, create a realistic portrait of Cristiano Ronaldo in a modern football jersey, showcasing his sharp features, confident pose, and signature hairstyle, and click the recraft button. Since we are using the free plan, two images of Cristiano Ronaldo were generated. As you can see, the results are quite impressive. Recraft seems to be doing an amazing job with celebrities. But let's try one more. For this, I'll go with Generate a realistic portrait of Lionel Messi, the renowned Argentine footballer. He has short, dark brown hair and a well-groomed beard with a focused yet approachable expression. His features are finely detailed, capturing his sharp eyes and strong jawline. And once again, the images perfectly match the description. It's honestly amazing what you can do with Recraft. Now let's see how Recraft handles different art styles. For this one, I'll use the prompt Elon Musk 3D cartoon style, very sad. This is how I would picture Elon Musk as a 3D cartoon, but I think we should try one with more obvious features. Using a similar prompt for a different person, Leonardo DiCaprio 3D cartoon style, very happy. The first image is kind of weird, but the second one is great. You can definitely tell that this is Leonardo DiCaprio. You can export any image by clicking the export button at the top right of your screen. Here, you put the dimensions you want and choose an image format. I prefer JPEG. One more thing I want to test out is how Recraft performs with different tourist spots. For this one, I'll try generating the Acropolis of Athens using this prompt. This is great. It looks just like a picture of the Acropolis. Let's try generating the Eiffel Tower using this prompt. And once again, it did an amazing job. It's hard to believe this was generated by AI. If you want to see all of your creations, you can click on the gallery option in the bottom right corner and click on history. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more tutorials about AI tools, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.